Except if you go to home, so far, go on. I can't afford the lesson. Don't subscriber, na ma follower, and chabuli. And those are good. Thank you so much, man, for being with me on this journey. You go to we are sharing knowledge. Ne, my saying is simple. You go to we must climb the ladder and leave it there for someone else to climb because there is enough space for all of us at the top. And those are good. We keep building this platform so that you guys can have easy access to information that is critical to ensure that you guys succeed and excel. Challenge. So those are good man, stay tuned. Today we have an amazing video for you and so we're going to be talking about how to get a distinction in physical science. Very simple that thing. It's not rocket science. I'm going to take you through that. Stay tuned. For context, in case you're wondering what qualifies me to give you this advice. In physical science for my grade 12 matric finals, I got a 98%. Not by mistake that thing. Throughout the year, I was always getting 90s. In what? In physical sciences. So that means I know a thing or two that can assist you. But anyway guys, let's start. Me, I don't waste time. So those who are going to you one thing about physical sciences, it straddles between calculation and information. But before you get to calculation, you need to master information. Ne? So my advice to you is that if you think you're just going to jump for the calculations and the applications of information without knowing the information, I, I, I lose the blood pop. What you need to do is be on a journey to master the information. There is certain information in physical sciences that requires understanding, but there is certain information that requires both understanding and memory. You need to remember the information. So be on a journey to understand and remember this information. What information is that? Physics is riddled with definitions, laws, rules, principles that don't require only your understanding, but require memory. Commit this information to memory. You know what I used to do, Mna I used to play a little game with my friends. Ne? What we would do, we had a list of definitions that we wanted to do. And we had a small bell. Ne? So we'd spend time going through the definitions, going through the definitions, cram as much as you can. Then you go stand by the wall. All of us come stand in front of you. I ask you this definition and you have to say it word for word. Ne? If you say it, someone else asks you, someone else asks you. So you keep saying it. When you get it wrong, hey, Baba, we ring that bell in your ear. Next, go learn that definition. Nana. Omonye goes to the wall. We start from afresh. We give it definitions, definitions. Rotating, rotating until we got all those definitions, Buffett. That was a fun game. We would laugh when we would enjoy. We had food, we had whatever. But the key concept was committing the definitions and the laws and the principles to memory. Because that is how you score your marks in past papers. So, Buffett, let's call it. But I'm going to commit these definitions to memory. Sometimes what I used to do is that I had a book where I wrote all these definitions, all these laws per topic. And say, come on, I knew, but this topic offered me these definitions, these laws. From the most basic definition, Buffett, what is a force? A force is a push or a pull. Symbol. Then everything else that has to do with a force, I know that it has to do with a push or a pull. Do you get me, guys? So commit these definitions to memory. Then you apply understanding. When you apply the information, perhaps in a calculation, perhaps when a question is being asked, but what are you going to apply if you don't know, if you can't remember? Another key thing, it's a secret. When you're learning these definitions, do not use definitions and principles from the textbook. Rather, use definitions and principles and laws from their past papers, which leads us to our second point. Of course, you knew I was going to mention past papers. How can I give you advice and not mention past papers? Doesn't make logical sense. Guys, past papers. Live, breathe, eat past papers. Guys, if you still want to know the importance of past papers, I made a video on that. Go learn the importance of past papers. But past papers are your daily bread. If you were to analyze in an exam paper, maybe your trials, probably 70%, 80% of that paper was written sometime in the past and it lies in a past paper that you failed to practice. But for your past papers are a way of you familiarizing yourself with information. Sometimes you're in an exam 
and you're like, look, I don't know what they're talking about. But I remember answering something similar to this in the past. And that gives you a nice starting point. So my favorite past papers are so crucial. They're so important. Please go watch that video that I made about past papers and how to practice them effectively. Because that is a good starting point, Game of Fate. Another thing, Game of Fate, that I want to mention that's very important with regards to past papers is that when you are someone who practices past papers, you don't just answer, Jay. They don't like tell us about momentum, dun, 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 dun. No, you don't just throw words at the paper. You know where your marks lie. For example, I remember when I was answering, if I'm writing a question and I'm doing calculations for physics, I knew if I write the formula, I've already got a mark. If I substitute correctly, I've already got a mark. I know where the marks lie, so I do not omit any steps. If you do not practice past papers and you only rely on activities from a textbook or classworks, trust me, uzovela. And uzovela gagbi. So what you need to do is do those past papers. Understand pattern recognition. What is coming out constantly that you do not need to, you must not miss. So guys, do those past papers so that you do not miss out on crucial marks because you do not know. In my culture, we have a beautiful saying that says, What that means is that something is nicer when it is shared. Now, much like anything that you learn, Mafieto, it will always be nicer when you share it. Sometimes the reason why you go through the most with certain subjects is because you are alone. But if you struggle and you struggle with people, if you enjoy and you enjoy with people, if you cry and you cry with people, there is something else. So in physics, don't try to go at it alone. Collect a few people who are in a caliber or who have the same motivation that you have, the same drive, same vision, same passion that you have. And go at it. Trust me, you'll enjoy it, my feet. That is what I did when I was in high school. Now, I've made a lot of videos on, about this on TikTok. Oh, good, when I was in high school, I developed different study groups for different purposes because I knew that when I share this information with other people, I'm going to learn, but I'm also going to teach. What I'm getting there is that for things that I missed or for certain concepts that I did not understand properly, people can fill in those gaps. Now, but for certain concepts that I understand, ne, I can further my understanding by sharing it with other people. Because there's a difference when you're just learning to learn for your own understanding. But when you're learning to explain for someone else, Buffett, you reach a certain level of understanding that goes beyond what you understand. Now you need to think, Uguti, how can I explain it to someone else in a way that they can understand? So you go at a level beyond because you're sharing. And also, it helps with discipline. We are because sometimes people want to do physics, but they lack the discipline. Sharing with people and enjoying with people who have the same drive, same motivation, not just your friends. But when I ditch those guys that I was hanging out with, I was like, let me find specific people. Now, there's a point where I even approached the top 10 of the school and I called them and like, guys, if we start a study group, we don't study together, but we study next to each other to motivate each other. If I have a question, I ask you. If you have a question, you ask me. It was a powerful study group of it. Then I went to collect guys that were top planners in their schools, came together, did physics, did maths together. Powerful study group. I went to Model C schools, ne? started a study group. Powerful study group. All I'm saying is that, Indo Imnandi Another thing that is quite important, Geba to imagine this analogy. You are a construction worker in your life. Ne? Currently, right now you're in high school. Ne? You are building buildings of knowledge. Buildings of knowledge with physics, building of knowledge in maths, building of knowledge in life sciences, building of knowledge in languages. Now, all these buildings need to stand strong. The exam is the ultimate test, which is the weather. Now, so you need to build strong buildings. In any time when they're building strong, strong buildings, what do they focus mainly on? What do they spend most of the time doing? Strengthening the foundation. If you're looking at the tallest building in the world, ne, why is it the tallest building? But they built it on sand. How? They first went down before they went up. Before you go forward learning, you have to go back to strengthen the foundation. Ne, you are only deciding to change your journey now. I mean that at some point in your life, you were not serious about your academics. You didn't care. That chaos you did back then won't resolve itself. You have to intentionally go back and relearn that material properly to build a strong foundation so that your building in whatever subject stands. 
be a good construction worker because you're building longevity of knowledge here. Ne? They will be able to sustain you in the exam room. There are things that you don't even know sometimes when you're writing, but because you're using prior knowledge and you're using understanding because of your strong foundation, you will conquer that question. In any past paper, you'll realize there's that one question at the end that you know, but this one is for the geniuses. It's not geniuses, it's people with strong foundations who can reason it out. What do you reason out without prior knowledge? Nothing. So go back. Now, me, Buffett, I even went as far as trying to find several textbooks online, trying to read through them and understand but what do they mean now that I missed in the past as I'm changing my journey. So do what you need to do to strengthen your foundation by ensuring that you know your prior knowledge. I give my faith this one is by far one of the most important. You know, Unbona and Jedinja, I am not here because of just me. There's a tutoring program called Kutwanong Romance. You guys have been asking me a lot about this. You don't apply to be in this thing, Mafid. They select you from your school, especially in townships. Now, I think they most probably all over the country now. But if you don't know about it, it means that it's not in your township and there's nothing you can do about that. Now, but if you've heard about it, then look for it like a crazy person. Kutwanong Pro Maths taught us maths and science. So what I'm going to say to you is that if you can find a tutoring program, any tutoring program that you can find, even if it's in your school, even if it's in the closest university, even if it's offered anywhere, run and go get it. Because they give you a nice direction. They give you nice information that you can work with. Ne? They give you a nice approach beyond what the school offers. Ne? Because normally these tutoring programs have a high standard, higher than our schools even. So they give us nice spaces. So if you can find a tutoring program that is very excellent and is known to be very good, ne? find it and commit to it like nobody's business, like a mad person. Guys, me, I attended Kutlanong like a mad person. Arrive early, last to leave. Ne? Because I knew what I wanted from it. And I got the decision that I have now because of it. People who are from Kutlanong, they'll know. Halala, promise, halala, halala. Because they know. So find a tutoring program that works and stick to it and commit to it and give your best and you will see the result. Ne? Sometimes not even because of how good the tutoring program is, it's because of how committed you are to ensuring that you apply whatever you learn. So all the best with that. To close this nice conversation of ours, I'm going to leave you with good advice that says, know what you know, know what you don't know. And if you're not sure whether you know or you don't know, do a past paper. It shall tell you. The reason why you are lazy to study is because you think you know or because you don't know that you don't know. Ne? And it's because you are not exposed to any past papers that will reveal to you that, yeah, Baba, you don't know. Because if you know what you know, you'll have a list of topics. I am comfortable with this one. I have evidence through practicing past papers and excelling in those past papers in this topic. I know it. Even if you'd wake me up at 2 a.m., so what is Newton's second law? I would tell you because I know. Ne? But if I don't know, I write it down so that immediately when I get the opportunity, I learn that thing, do past papers on it, and ensure that I know it. Ne? You are trying to eliminate areas of not knowing. Ne? So that when you get to the past paper and you get to the exam, buffet, you can know almost everything. Yo, I can't explain to you guys how nice it feels when you just came out of an exam and you're so confident, you're so excited because you knew. Galoma Zudozagute, thank you so much for watching this video. Dozagute man, go down to the comment section. Tell me there, what video suggestion would you like next? You never know, your suggestion might be the next video. Do this, do do that, do will listen. But very thank you so much, man. Please do follow me there by TikTok. I'm also there sharing advice, sharing a part of my life that will inspire you. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you're one of the first people to know when a new video has come out. Ne? Share this video with a lot of people because remember, here, what do we do? We climb the ladder and leave it there for someone else to climb because there is space enough for all of us at the top. So, thank you so much, man. Thank you.